Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. Here's a problem that's shared on social media with the claim you should be able to solve it. Other people have put the title 99% fail, only a genius can solve this, it's a Harvard entrance exam question, and so on and so forth. If you can solve this problem, then you are a genius. There's also a statement that's not mentioned in the problem, but I think it's fair to say you need to solve for all real values of x that satisfy this equation. So how do we figure it out? We have the equation 9 to the power of x plus 12 to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of x. We want to reduce this equation into something that's familiar. So let's get started by simplifying this equation and dividing both sides of the equation by the very first term. So we will divide the entire left side of the equation by 9 to the power of x, and we will correspondingly divide the right side of the equation by 9 to the power of x. On the left-hand side, we have a sum in the numerator, and we have just one term in the denominator. Therefore, we can use toasted it. What is that? My calculus teacher always loved to say this. It stands for the old single term in the denominator trick. So we can split up the numerator, and we can divide both terms of the numerator by the same denominator. So we have 9 to the x divided by 9 to the x, plus 12 to the x divided by 9 to the x is equal to 16 to the x divided by 9 to the x. So let's simplify term by term. What is 9 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x? This is, of course, equal to 1. So the very first term is just 1 and we've already simplified this equation. What is 12 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x? We can group this as a fraction, 12 over 9, all raised to the power of x. 12 can be factored as 4 times 3, and 9 is equal to 3 times 3. So we can eliminate this common factor of 3. This is equal to 4 over 3, the fraction, raised to the power x. So let's substitute this term in for 12 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x. So the second term is 4 over 3 as a term raised to the power of x. Let's finally simplify the last term. We have 16 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x. This will be equal to the fraction 16 over 9 all raised to the power of x. We can factor 16 as 4 times 4, and 9 is equal to 3 times 3. We can't eliminate any common factors, but we do have 4 over 3 times 4 over 3. So this is equal to 4 over 3, the fraction squared, raised to the power of x. We have an exponent to an exponent, so we can multiply the exponents. So this is equal to 4 over 3 as a term raised to the power of 2x. And let's substitute this in on the right side of the equation. So we have now simplified the equation to another form. Let's take a closer look at it. 1 plus the fraction 4 over 3 raised to the power of x is equal to the fraction 4 over 3 raised to the power of 2x. Let's now do a substitution. Suppose that the fraction 4 over 3 raised to the power of x is equal to a variable u. If we square u, we end up with exactly the term on the right side. The term on the right side is equal to u squared. So we can transform this complicated equation into a simple equation. 1 plus u is equal to u squared. And now we have a quadratic equation. This is a standard equation we can solve. Subtract u and subtract 1 from both sides to put the quadratic in standard form. 0 is equal to u squared minus u minus 1. There is a formula to solve any general quadratic. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. It was first known by Brahmagupta. And we all memorize the formula. x is equal to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. In this particular equation, 
A is equal to 1, B is equal to minus 1, and C is equal to minus 1. Applying the quadratic formula, we get that U is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 all over 2. And this simplifies to be 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 all over 2. So it seems we have two possibilities to consider for u. But let's see if we can simplify this any further. We have plus or minus the square root of 5. Now u was substituted for the fraction 4 over 3 raised to the power of x. When x is a real number, this is an exponential function that will always be greater than 0. But 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2 is less than 0. So we can eliminate this possibility. So we are only left with 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2. And look at what u is equal to. This is precisely equal to the golden ratio. And this is a divine proportion which shows up in all types of art and in all sorts of natural phenomena. It remains to solve for x. Let's take the natural log of both sides. We can then bring this exponent x out to the front. Divide both sides of the equation by the natural log of 4 over 3. And finally, substitute in for u. And therefore, x is equal to the natural log of the quantity 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2. And this is divided by the natural log of 4 over 3. And this is approximately equal to 1.673. What an amazing equation and a surprising solution. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.